Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is, unfortunately, the config's name is called Dark Dank Material. Horrible name. Uh, one of the most ridiculous names I've ever heard in my entire life, but there it is. And um, this is a very interesting config. Just let me just do something here real quick. Uh, for the reason that it has everything that I want and it's really cool at the same time, you know? It's like finding a, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense or not, but it should, hopefully. And I've been looking over it. I've been learning it for the last couple of hours, trying to make it, you know, uh, work and stuff for me as a person. And there are some... There are some minor issues with it. And one of those minor issues uh, being that I can't make the top bar transparent and blurry. Now, it comes with the ability to become transparent, but it's not real transparency. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. You know, but that's kind of how it goes. And um, I've had no luck with that so far. I have added the logo and all of the rest of this is completely built in minus this blur here and this blur here. So where do we begin? Well, let's begin with the settings because the settings is pretty cool. So this is where you apply your wallpaper. You can apply per wallpaper, per monitor. So if you wanted to, you could basically select which monitor you want to make the wallpaper apply to and go for it. Uh, there's automatical psyching through, through the same folder, so if I wanted to do this, I could do it like every minute, and there's a fade, and you could do whatever. Dynamic theming, basically it steals from the wall of paper itself, and again, tonal spot, expressive, you could do fidelity, root salad, monochrome, uh, you could do neutral, rainbow, like, there's just a lot of things that you could end up doing, and uh, that's pretty cool. So that uses mutagen, and there's ugly mode, I mean light mode. There's night mode, but gamma step's not currently installed. And uh, there's automatic gamma based on time or locate. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, this shows your lock screen power buttons and stuff like that, and so on, and... Yeah, so time of date's pretty simple, as you can see. You can basically set day, date, day, date, uh, date, month, date type thing, you know? Ooh, look at that, it just changed. And 24 hours, or real time, and weather, you can enable it and use auto location, or you can set your location. I'll choose auto, thank you. So, again, the naming scheme of this entire thing is ridiculous, but here it is. Yeah, so you could put this in the bottom, or you can put this at the top. It's up to you. Uh, I think that just probably broke the dock. One second, show the dock. Thank you. And uh, manual hide and show. You got spacing. You got height gap. You got size. Square corners. Right? No background. It's a more minimal look meaning it removes the little stuff around. You got the goth corners. You know, I broke those. But if you want to be try hard, they're right there. Now, this is where it differs from most other things. As you can see, that it just... This actually allows you... By the way, the whole dimming thing is dumb. I don't like it. I never did. I find it ridiculous. Uh, blur is also ridiculous. Let people see what's going on around you. This is where you can add widgets, so if you want a workspace and switcher to be there, a focused window, running apps, clock, weather, media controls, clipboard, CPU usage, like there's just so much stuff that you can do. It's kind of insane the amount of widgets this person has created. There's even a system update widget, which I find definitely interesting. And then center screen, I have this here. I'm actually going to do that instead, so workspaces are dead center. And they get media controls and... I don't know what these are, but I wish they had hovers. That'd be nice. 
Uh, right section, I added a, in, an idle inhibitor, CPU, GPU stuff, system update is right there, and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's really cool that you're able to do this. I've always wanted to do this. Uh, you can use your OS logo if you want. For some reason, it doesn't pull the cache you want. Uh, you can add workstation padding and, and like a whole bunch of workspace stuff. Dock. I wish there was more dock uh, features. That'd be nice. It allows you to put your display on whichever monitor you want. Like not your display, your bar, your dock, your notification pop-ups, wallpaper, all of this stuff, right? And I find that pretty cool. This is all about your launcher. It shows your most recently used apps. And again, this is for your themes and colors. So again, if you want to like leave it at auto and fidelity and all this stuff, you can do so. And power and then about. And here it is. Now I need to turn off auto cycling because I like this. This looks nice. Oh my. So there you go. I mean, overall, it's a fantastic configuration. It definitely needs some fixing and some work. But then again, which config doesn't, right? Look at this. We're not done. Look at that. Uh, I'm going to open up Cider. That's what this is. It's Cider. And uh, I am going to mute the desktop audio so you guys can hear it. I'm going to hit play on Avalanche. I'll be able to hear it. You won't. And if I click here, you can see that it shows what it needs to show. I love the weather, by the way. And you got an overview of everything. Right, it looks cool. Settings, it's right there. And uh, yeah, I just gotta make the uh, top panel transparent and then I'm good to go. So check the description below for the link to this. Uh, they'll have to run you through the setup and everything. Uh, I think this is absolutely fantastic uh, that this is the thing. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think overall. Look at this. This is so cool. And, you know, get back to me about all of it. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, to subscribe if you're new here for future videos like this. And I'm back on Hyperland. Yep, I am. Staying here. Hope you'll join me. It's fun. Oh, wait, one more thing. Check this out. It shows all the current open processes. Emery. NVIDIA, like it shows the GPU temperatures and stuff. Well, it's supposed to. It does right there, 34%. And then this is the CPU, which is technically just showing at 66% or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that's doing. Bye, everybody.